Hi, my name is Cheryl Waxlock, and I'll be teaching a course this spring, MOR 451. So MOR 451 is a course on decision making and behavioral economics. Uh, you'll get exposed to a lot of current research on how people make decisions, and especially the way that those decisions deviate from rational economic models. And then especially we'll focus in on how you can use these insights to make better personal and organizational decisions. Well, you're likely to make lots of mistakes in all sorts of creative ways, but we'll try to cover the most common ways that decision making goes astray. So what you'll get from this is a framework for understanding your own decision errors and understanding how these relate to larger human tendencies. And again, the driving force will be to help you use these insights to make better decisions for yourself and also help other people in your environment make better decisions as well. That's right, so a lot of students who've taken the course before when it was taught as a special topics have commented that it feels a little bit different than a lot of Marshall courses. So we use a mix of lectures, videos, and case, uh, cases as we go through the course, but you'll learn a lot about underlying cognitive tendencies, the basic way the mind works. And then what we'll do is we'll layer that up so that you see the strong relevance that this has for business, life, and organizational problems that you'll be facing. Now, one of the good things about this method is that you'll help build your critical thinking skills as well as you learn to take this basic understanding and relate it to the problems you're likely to encounter. One interesting thing about this course is that it has a lot of relevance for anyone in Marshall, regardless of specialty. So what you'll find as you go out into the business world and you start to climb organizational ladders, whatever that ladder is, is that a lot of your job is going to be increasingly about managing people. And so having insights into how those people think and how they make decisions is going to be something that's really useful. Um, at the same time, because the course covers a lot of current research, you'll get a lot of exposure to the logic of behavioral research. And in fact, we'll spend quite a lot of time focusing on how and why you might want to use experimental work in organizational settings, and this is something that's becoming much more prevalent in today's organizations and something that is a skill that's going to be increasingly in demand.